Here we go, everybody. It is crunch time. A couple of results today, and we should secure survival in Syria. It's been a difficult battle, and it could still all go wrong. It's time for Project Palermo. Welcome back to Project Palermo. This is your old mate DP here in the DP Dome, and I suck at maths, apparently, because according to this little thing, the lowest we can finish is 16th, which is definitely not in a relegation place, but I don't trust it. There's, what, 15 points on offer, and we're only 14 points clear of Monza. So today we will be playing, as promised, Genoa. Uh, are up next on the hit list, and then Hellas Verona. The last two games, you've only missed two. We got smashed by Napoli 2-0. We were in it for a long time, uh, I think, from memory. I could be wrong. My memory's not what it once was. Yeah, all the way through the first half, Chiquinho picked up a yellow card, and then he got himself sent off, which was a disaster. And we were pretty toothless. Uh, fair play to Napoli. They smashed us. And then Palmer, uh, we beat them. Two headed goals from Merck and Daly. So it's not just Wiley getting in on the action. It was Merck and Daly as well. Two goals, man of the match performance. And then Volpato had a strike, which was deflected in and went down as an own goal. That guy has no luck. But today, Genoa and then Hellas Verona in Syria action. And a win in either of these games. They're both away from home. So it's not a done deal. That should secure safety for us here in Syria, which would be fantastic. Not a lot else is going on, but I've dropped Brunori. Um, he's done my head in. I've had enough. And uh, you, <laughs> look who's up top. So uh, Revaglia is in goal. Christian Fructil picked up an injury and uh, won't be back for another four days. So we'll have him for the last couple of days of the season. And Alexis Blin was injured as well. They should be right for the next matches. But uh, yeah. Uh, we've had to play Ravaglia in goal for the last two. Did great against Palmer, not so much against Napoli. So our back four are uh, Dicciara, Ciccaroni, Mercandali, and Ratnik at right back because the form of Perotti dropped off massively. And I wanted to give him a run in the team. We're doing that, and he's been quite good. We've got Sotelo and Ranokia in the center of midfield, and then Saidi, Volpato, Chiquinho back in on the right hand side. Hopefully, he doesn't get sent off again. Uh, and Moscone is playing up front. Uh, hasn't scored for ages, but just wanted to give him a run. Plenty of firepower down on the bench if we need it, but I think I'm done with Brunori. And we had this problem last time. We were at Palomo, but five goals for our first Serie A campaign and an average of 6.62 for the season. No, just no. So off we go. Away to Genoa in Syria. Safety on the line everything to play for hopefully we can get a result uh the pressure is all on them they need to win to try and secure their survival uh we just need to not mess up so hopefully we won't mess up and everything will be fine but no guarantees if anyone can bottle it it's going to be this mob of players so but these guys this whole team have played the last couple of matches all together and they've done pretty well so i'm quietly confident but i'm not a hundred percent convinced we have had a couple of shots early not enough possession though for me to be happy i like to play a possession heavy game and it's just not happened for us all season we definitely need upgrades and i've started thinking ahead to next season we need signings we need to move on uh, a fair number of players as much as i liked sam Dow last season i don't think he's the man to solve our problem at left back given he's rated as a serie b fullback or, or serie b level um, that's not the kind of play we need to progress in this league. Uh, Saeed has been fine, Volpato has been fine, and Chiquinho getting himself sent off the way he has. And oh, my match speed is way too fast. Apologies. Let's just fix that up right quick and in a hurry. There we go. No more. I, I mean, I should put it to Benny Hill music, really. Uh, full disclosure, after the Napoli game. I was very, very frustrated, which is why the game speed was turned up. It's a good strike from Chiquinho. This just feels too slow now. Let's just bump it up a notch. That's a bit better. Uh, here's Sotelo now with a corner. Fires it in. Mokandali was lurking. The danger man from those set pieces. Seems like Alessandro Mokandali is not used to the pressure being asked to boo boo boo. Whatever that notification was, it's garbage. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, 
Come on, lads. I'd like to get a victory here. I'd like to get into the game, apply some pressure, and hopefully score a goal. Let's get Moscone on the score sheet. That would be amazing. <laughs> Highly unlikely, given the season he's had. He's young. He's inexperienced. It's not his fault that I've botched the signing of a young, talented striker once again at Palomo. <laughs> but at least this time, it hasn't cost us everything and made us move because moving in this save is not an option we are here for the long haul come hell or high water we either make a success of this or we go down swinging that is the plan if we get fired uh i did notice <laughs> there's another club and played a friendly against them uh they're called athletic palermo and maybe i can just move to them uh load up some lower leagues and say oh well this is the palermo i meant all, all along that was actually the plan for the series so haha you're welcome Moscone in there with a good chance, but couldn't get the ball past the keeper. I'm not going to move to another Palermo club. If we do at some point get fired from this save, the save just ends, and I'll be very sad. But hopefully it won't come to that. Uh, our first season in Syria, I would say, has been quite the success. I was very fearful of getting relegated early in the season, for the most part. The lads have turned that around for us. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've seen some flashes, some flashes of, of what could be from this team and we just need to get some consistency upgrading some key areas uh, I'm not I mean I was going to go through a list of what I'm not happy with but it'll be quicker to go through what I am happy with we've got a couple of talented defenders and that's about it I do like Ranakia I want Volpato to do well because he's Australian but I just don't know it's, it's just been so hard to get consistency out of this team between injuries between international duty and between getting battered by some of the biggest clubs in the world to be fair it's it's been a difficult tenure let's say that uh it hasn't all been daisies and ice cream as the kids say nobody says that i'm making that up but that's what i'm going with uh we're on track for a point here but i want more than a point i wanted to win this match maybe moscone is not the man to turn it around we'll give him a rest because he is tiring and uh for fana is going to play up front. Volpato just hasn't shown up today. So Sado is going to have a little kick about. And uh, Sam Dahl can come on for Di Chiara. If, no, I've just got done saying, no, I don't think he's the dude. I don't think he's the one to solve our problem. I'll just throw him on the pitch. Uh, we need to make a couple of changes in midfield just to get some fresh legs in there. So we'll get Segre involved. And Wana can play back there as well. No, we can't because we're out of substitutions. That's fine be that way game see if i care we're going to go attacking for the last few minutes i'm going to demand more we're going to go more direct for the last four minutes and a much higher tempo and just do something gentlemen and don't cough up a goal that that would be nice too i mean a draw is probably enough to get the job done but that is not ideal and not what we were after yeah we should have won that match just not good enough and that's been the story of the season, more than anything. I'm pretty sure, though, that has us safe. Uh, some bits and pieces going on here. We've been scouting some players. Well, I don't know why we're scouting this guy. 43 million. We can't afford him. Uh, anyway, we will skip ahead now. A nil all result is not a disaster against Genoa, but a win against Hellas Verona would be delightful. We'll see if we can pull that off when we return in uno momento, por favor. Oh, there we go. Confirmation. The lowest we can finish is 15th, according to the homepage here. Best possible finish, 11th to 15th. Solidly mid, lower mid table. Fine with that. And according to the inbox, the board are delighted that we have achieved one of the objectives laid out in the club's vision. Become an established Serie A team. Uh, what's involved in that? Make sure the team avoids a Serie A relegation battle within the stated time frame. We've done that one year ahead of schedule. We've passed everybody's happy and if we look at uh, what's made the board happy we've got a b plus from the board which is lovely their only criticism is a 2-0 loss against napoli which i think is reasonable because napoli are one of the best teams in the league and the supporters are happy as well with a b plus everything has gone swimmingly except the supporters hate moscone um to, gotta say kind of with them but let's continue on and then we'll play Hellas Verona and celebrate. That's why I'm wearing a party hat today. Slight change of plans, folks. I figure there's no point showing you the third to last game of the season and then moving to a transfer window. So I've played through the other two matches. Uh, we, uh, 
Yeah, so Hellas Verona, we won 3-2. We did it the hard way and took a late winner from Emil Cide, but Valukovic with another header and Valparte scored. And then in this match against Fiorentina, uh, Ranocchia scored an absolute stunner. And I want to show you that one because it was a beautiful, beautiful goal. Uh, I've just gone in to watch all of them, but it's the first one scored. And what a strike from Ranocchia. It was an absolute peach. Uh, so the ball's here, it's spinning around, Valparte knocks it over, whack and boom, top corner. You've got to love that. It was a beautiful strike. But we are off to play Monza away from home, our final match of our first Serie A campaign. And I figured this is just a, a better way to end. It's a bit rotated, uh, and Brunori picked up a knot, but he's going to play anyway. Possibly the last game he's going to play for the club because I'm absolutely fed up with him. So, Fruitdelin goal, Diciara, Merkandali, Volukovic and Ratnik as our back four. Sotelo and Ranokia in the centre of midfield. Saidi, Volpato and Chiquinho in front of them behind Brunori. Up front, I'm just going to switch him over to be the complete forward on attack because advanced forward really hasn't been working for him. Basically, the idea here is beside uh, Diciara and besides Brunori, I've gone for youth, the, the younger players, and that's kind of the aim. Um, players like Diciara, players like Brunori, uh, other guys like possibly Segre, although he might hang around. Blin, I'm done with because he's been sent off and done stupid things all season. Um, and then obviously anyone who's averaged under a seven that doesn't have like high potential uh, and he's under 23, I'm going to be looking to move on and rebuild this squad. Um, hopefully bring in a bucket load of cash if we can from probably Serie B sides because that's the standard of our team. And look to bring in some quality and a bunch of youngsters and then probably battle to stay up again next season. It's a risky plan. But I think we can pull it off if we keep the spine of the team together. We've got a bunch of guys out on loan who can definitely help us out when they come back. Uh, besides Bataro, who's probably going to crack it and want to leave. But that's the plan. For now, though, let's not worry about any of that. Let's just look to end the season on a high. Right now, we're in 13th after that uh, tough loss, uh, I think it has to be said, to Fiorentina. We were in the match for a lot of it. We were on top for a little while. And it just got away from us at the end with a cheesy, cheesy FM goal uh, from Moyes Keane. Played a 1-2 and did it super easy. And it was very, very annoying. But uh, as usual, we're just really not creating anything here or, or doing anything interesting. Um, and it's kind of been the story of the season. We play against the lower tilling teams. We're not very good. We play against the upper tier teams. We're not very good. Occasionally, we'll pull off an upset. Occasionally, we'll beat the teams we're supposed to beat. And it's just been a bit of a mixed bag. And oh my goodness, last day of the season, Bernoulli finally gets his sixth goal. That is not the return you want from a striker in the top division. Uh, honestly, the rest of the team's fine. I just think we need to upgrade the striker. We need a superstar striker, possibly a young one uh, with a bit of potential to improve, but not a Moscone, like someone who is already a proven goal scorer who can come in and just capitalise on the chances the rest of the team create because we do get chances quite often we have a lot of shots and we just don't convert them and that has to change and then also the, the front three behind the striker is a worry and I'm thinking about doing away with attacking mid all together and going with a three in the midfield with a defensive midfielder which is probably dirty of us but midfields where we just get absolutely destroyed uh, yeah, well done on controlling possession so far. I don't even know if we're not ahead in this game, are we? We haven't scored. We have scored. <laughs> Brunori scored. That's right. I remember things that happen now. Yay. <laughs> Feels like a dog's age. I'm so not used to Brunori actually coming up with a finish that it just didn't even register in my brain. Right, we've got 30 minutes to go. We'll look to make a couple of changes. Uh, we'll take Brunori off and he can have a bit of a send-off, I think, because, yeah, I, I am done with him. And even though he scored today, I just think that goal return seals his fate. We tried to persist. He was decent last season in Serie B and we now know, more than likely, not keeping him in Serie B last time out at Palermo it was one of the key mistakes. But if we'd had him in Serie A, uh, we wouldn't have been any better off. And that's for dang sure. Chiquinho is going to come off. Uh, and 
I'm going to bring on Salcedo and just push Valpato out to the right. Valpato, he's been called up to the Australia squad for the World Cup, which is very, very cool. Uh, did Chiara can come off and Sammy Dahl? Yeah, Sammy Dahl can come on for him. And I think that'll, that'll do for now. I don't want to work, like, massively weaken the team, he says, putting Moscone on up front. <laughs> but, you know, I just want to share the love around. It's the last game of the season. It doesn't mean anything for us other than maybe a slightly improved league position. But it doesn't get us extra any money or anything like that. I'd just love to finish with a, a little bit of momentum if we can. That's just poor for my lead. I don't even know what he was trying to do or who he was trying to get the ball to there. He's a worry, that man. Despite the goals he scored and the super important goal against Udinese. Not, let's not forget that because it was crucial. And, ugh, this team, I just can't anymore. <laughs> this will not abide, gentlemen. Taking a deflection, Fruto's been well footed, and they should never have been in that position to start with. It's infuriating. I'm not even game to go attacking. Yes, I am. I'm always game. Oh. Oh, so let off there. This thing, these tricky set pieces, where like nobody whispers in anybody's ear and say, "Hey, you should pick that guy up." SI need to fix that for FM25. It's ridiculous. You would not leave one, two, three men completely unmarked like that in those kind of positions. It just wouldn't happen. I don't care who you are. It's breaking my immersion. Um, I'm going to throw this out up front. We're going to go to 424. See if we can get that working. Why not? And for my final trick, I've got some tired bodies. Let's just throw Estevez on. Make his manager happy. And I think we'll just go very attacking. So we're going to go on the last couple of minutes of time added on. If we probably can't, we'll finish with a boring one-all draw. We could have finished in 11th. As it is, we finished 13th. We've beaten the odds. We were predicted to finish, what, 17th at the start of the season. And uh, we've done better than that. So no complaints. But we've got a lot of work to do in the summer to retool this team. We don't have any... Budgets yet, Bologna are off to the Champions League, so good week for them, I suppose. But no word on budgets or, or anything else as yet. No cash has come in. We are over our wage budget, which is a problem, but our committed spending is below it uh, with players who are due to leave the club at the end of their contracts. But that's all I've got for you. Uh, we will come back in the next episode and retool this team for our second season in Syria and see if we can do it all again maybe finish a bit higher, but in all likelihood, I'm just going to be looking to survive because we're going to build a very, very different looking squad for Syria season two. If you've had a good time, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all the things, come and check us out playing DPFC over on Twitch. And until next time, I shall see you next time. Say hi to your mum for me and be good. If you can't be good, don't get caught. Surprise. You thought we were over. The board did announce budgets, like as soon as I hit stop recording and hit continue. So our budgets for next season, and if you stuck around, buoy for you. Well done. Buoy for everybody. Buoys for all. Uh, £525,000 of wage budget, which is a little bit higher than what we've got, about 50 grand more, which is not bad. And a transfer budget of six million, which is not enough to do the kind of business that we need to do. So we will be looking to sell. Again, that's all I've got for you. So you can you can go now. It's fine. Go. Why are you still here? I don't I don't look, there's no other news. There's nothing else to tell you. I water's wet, sky's blue. Alright. I promise transfer window uh at the usual scheduled time, either Monday, Tuesday, uh Monday, Wednesday or Friday. I don't know when this is coming out. We're just killing time now.